All right, let's do this thing. We're going to multiply some polynomials. But before we do that, uh, I want to remind you of a little bit of terminology that may, you may have forgotten. Um, say you have a polynomial that just has one term in it, say 3x to the fourth, something like that. It only has one term in it. It's called a monomial. If you have a polynomial that has two terms in it, say uh, x minus 3, there's two terms there, that's called a binomial. And a polynomial with three terms in it, say 2x squared minus 4x plus 6, three terms there, it's called a trinomial. I'm going to use these words in the following video, so I figured I'd remind you uh, the definitions. <clears throat> so let's try to multiply some polynomials. We already saw um, multiplying monomials with binomials and trinomials. Uh, I'll just uh, do another example to remind you. So you have 3x squared times x squared minus 4x plus 2. You have something like that. You'd like to multiply this monomial with this trinomial. The way that you do this is just distributing. You multiply the 3x squared times the x squared term. You might multiply the 3x squared times the negative 4x term and the 3x squared times the 2. We're going to end up with three terms, and I'll write out what each one is. I'm going to put the negative 4x in parentheses so we don't confuse the uh, negative sign with the minus sign subtraction. So we distribute the 3x squared uh, to each one of these three terms in this trinomial, and this is what we get. Now all we have to do is multiply. You use your properties of exponents if, if you need it, uh, and then you just multiply the constants, and you're ready to go. Oops, I'm sorry. I left out a squared on that, uh, on that term there. Sorry for the confusion. Um, so when we start multiplying these terms out, uh, we multiply the 3x squared times the x squared. Uh, look at your rules of exponents. When you're multiplying an x squared, times an x squared, you add the exponents. So you get x to the 2 plus 2 power, which is x to the 4. Now you're going to multiply this 3 and this negative 4, and that's going to give you a negative 12. Then you look at the x squared and the x. x squared times x is just x to the 2 plus 1 power. From your properties of exponents again, that's just an x cubed. Go to this last term, multiply the constants, 3 times 2 is 6. And the only uh, x term that you have in this, in this term is an x squared. So there's your answer. In a couple of videos, we're going to be going the other way. We're going to be starting with the boxed trinomial and ending with this term up here. That's called factoring. We're going to do that in a later video. Um, but for now, let's keep multiplying. Say you have two binomials that you'd like to multiply. Say x minus 2 and x plus 1. Say you want to multiply those two binomials. How do you do this? Well, in the specific case where you're talking about two binomials, there's this term called FOIL that I think is pretty universal and everybody remembers. Uh, what that refers to, FOIL, is first outer, inner, and last. Basically what you do is you take the first two terms, in this case the two x's, you multiply those together. You take the outer two terms, for O, uh, and you multiply those two together. You take the inner two terms, for I, multiply those together, and then you take the last two terms, for the L, and multiply those together. You take all those results, you add them together, if there are like terms, of course, you combine those like terms, and then you're finished. So, so let's actually do this. Um, let's start with f. We're going to multiply the first two terms together. That's x times x. Then you look at the two outer terms. In this case, the outer terms are 1 and x. We're going to multiply those together. x times 1. And we're going to add. Uh, we're going to go to i, two inner terms, the negative 2 times the x. Negative 2 times the x. 
And then we go to the last terms, negative 2 times 1. And there we go, we've just foiled. Now, uh, the last steps of this process are just uh, multiplying things out and combining like terms if necessary. So x times x is just x squared. x times 1, of course, is just x. Uh, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times 1 is just negative 2. And it looks like we have some like terms. We have two terms that have just an x to the first power. So we're going to combine those. The coefficient in front of the one that doesn't appear to have a coefficient, of course, is 1. Uh, so we're going to look at the coefficients. We have a 1 minus 2. We just subtract those to get a negative 1. Of course, you don't usually write in a negative 1 or a positive 1 as a coefficient. So I'll rewrite this so it looks a little bit better. There, we just multiplied two binomials. x minus 2 times x minus 1. And we got this result. Again, we're going to be doing this the other way around in a future video. Uh, we're going to be starting with this trinomial down here in the box and ending with um, the two binomials in parentheses. That's again called factoring and we're going to do that soon. Now, the FOIL technique is, very, is specific to multiplying two binomials. In general, um, say for example if we have a binomial times a trinomial like that uh, we can't exactly use the FOIL technique really what the FOIL technique is is just distributing what we do to multiply this binomial with this trinomial is we take this x term in the binomial and we distribute it through the parentheses through the parentheses around the trinomial. Then what we do, we take all those terms, we add them up. Then what we do is we take the negative 2 and we distribute that through the trinomial as well. Multiply all those terms together, add all six of those terms that you're going to get up, combine like terms, and then you're finished. So, so let's give this a shot. <coughs> 